spam. Wow. Look at him. We're gonna try it. We're gonna give it a rating from one to ten. This one's not a good one. And uh, we're not gonna rate it on aesthetics purely by taste. So we'll we'll see how that goes. It's all gonna taste delicious anyway. Hold <laughs> the control. I know, here it is. God, where'd you get it. this guy? Oh. <laughs> you know, it's not bad. I talked all that, you know? But you, it's. You would eat another right. This is pretty solid. Can't feel it. Like <laughs> What is good? I have a quick little first look for you guys. Picked up the denim jacket from Vujade. Ken and team's brand Vujade uh, recently put out a first kind of like fall winter drop. I ended up picking up the denim jacket. That's what we're gonna be taking a look at today. Let me get that one second. Here it is, 100% cotton, of course made in Japan really really nice jacket this is kind of like their take on a type 2 denim jacket um, the color in person is more a charcoal gray than it is a black plenty of distressing along the collar and other parts of the jacket which you can see i'll get some shots on body and some close-ups of the distressing so you guys can get a better picture of how that is really really nice quality um, definitely a pricey piece i think these retail for about 500 dollars and typically with the drops from vujade not a lot of stock is left after the initial release so it's not one of those things where you can kind of like hold off and get these on sale for a better price typically if you're not trying to pay the retail price Generally, you'd have to look through secondhand, like grailed or something like that, but I would definitely recommend to do so if you're interested in any of the pieces, especially since, like I said, the retail is pretty expensive. I would say the shipping wasn't too bad this time around. It took maybe about two weeks or so to ship from Japan to Florida, and obviously, literally the farthest place you can ship to on the planet as far as shipping from Japan. Construction, again, this is a 14 ounce Japanese denim supplied from the mills of Okayama. Pretty much no complaints. Um, as far as the fit, like I said, the fit's oversized. Um, I intentionally wanted to get a denim jacket that was oversized. I have one other denim jacket that I wear all the time. It's this black one by Helmut Lang, but that's a lot more of a fitted, tailored kind of jacket versus this one. It's a lot more loose fitting and definitely more more relaxed fit, um, less formal for sure than the helmet laying one based on the fit. Fits really well in the body and in the shoulders, has a pretty significant drop shoulder and the sleeves are very, very long. So that was the intended fit. They wanted something that was gonna hang below your wrist. It's like a personal preference thing. Um, if you want something that looks really oversized and baggy, which is kind of trendy at the moment, obviously, then this is probably a really good jacket for you. If you're looking for something more tailored, I think even if I size down, the sleeve length would still be really long, much longer than your, your typical denim type two jacket. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much all I have. Um, didn't want to talk too much about this piece. Oh, and one last thing. Typical Vujade sort of packaging, kind of silver garment bag. And then you have a little Vujade tag. I ended up getting a size two in the jacket, which I guess would be like a medium to a large kind of thing. Cause they had sizes one through three and I ended up with the two. I figured that would be more of like a true to size. I could have probably sized down to a size one, but the drop on the shoulder would have come up a little bit and I already have broad shoulders as it is. So I figured I would just stick with the size two. And then if I wanted to adjust the sleeve length at all, I could just do that at my local tailor. So that was the garment bag and 
also comes with a little Vujade tag and then just like a Japanese tag right here. I'm not sure what's what's listed on here. It might be like just general advice for washing the garment. I'm not sure. Other than that, I um, have a few random clips. Tried to get some footage, you know, of the day-to-day -day of my last couple of weeks to like a month or so. Been super busy just with events, hanging out with friends, going out to eat, shopping, etc. So um, may not be super structured. I don't have a lot of context to a lot of these clips, but we're just going to throw them in the vlog for entertainment purposes. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. And yeah, on with the video. Just left the addition, the addition hotel in Tampa. It's pretty new. Um, it's probably only been open like a couple months or so. I would say like maybe like two months. I think it opened like sometime in September. Um, it's like a upscale hotel in Tampa. Obviously in every major city, they need some sort of upscale tier hotel or venue with top tier customer service. Obviously there is restaurants here. There's also a club called the Arts Club. Um, Jask is like a Tampa legend as far as house goes. Jask is an OG, so shout out to him. Uh, He's definitely setting the vibes as far as the Arts Club goes tonight at the addition. A bougie venue, to be honest. So like, if you have money and you're trying to have it go out and have like an upscale kind of like vibe an upscale kind of time in Tampa, the addition is definitely probably that spot for you. Usually with house, tech house, techno music, it's like easier to get in. I would say that. So that's one thing to note, like if you're trying to have like an underground experience where it's like not stuffy, it's not like fancy, you're not like limited to like collared shirts and like dress attire if that makes sense this may or may not be the spot for you but um yo it's beautiful in there the interior design all that is top tier multiple bar they have more than one bar in there they have like an upstairs like pool area that area was closed so i didn't get to get any like shots or views for you guys unfortunately maybe next time i come i'll be able to like take some shots and some videos of that so you guys can like see you know like what kind of like experience you guys would be in for if you stayed or like visited this hotel while in tampa so maybe next time i'll try and get that for you guys um yeah beautiful beautiful spot but also very expensive the addition Tampa I could definitely recommend that for you guys oh and quick fit check helmet laying denim jacket very basic Madewell jeans that I always wear just the regular black jeans and then my milk mainline Ramones usually I wouldn't wear these on a night out but tonight was 
more classy upscale kind of event where people aren't going to be stepping on your shoes it's not going to be super crowded which is a major plus for me after you reach a certain age like you realize you're not trying to be like shoulder to shoulder super uncomfortable in the club this place was good for that like it wasn't overcrowded they didn't let too many people in at one time but also that adds to the exclusivity factor right so it's like if you don't know anyone and you're not really connected to the dj like i was through a close friend of mine you might not have the same experience you're going to be waiting in line unfortunately potentially so all things to keep in mind but all in all a really really beautiful hotel i'm gonna log off for right now and i'll see you guys soon